And I know that you have that passion in your heart. I don't know where the journey will take you. There will be moments where you'll be ready to give up. We all, went. I remember I had moments like this. I've asked myself, why do I bother? When you face criticism, when you face challenges, where the road meets dark, remember that Jesus went through that. Follow him. Today, we want to celebrate with you. You're not given any power and authority to rule. That's not what it's all about. It's a recognition and affirmation of your experience with Jesus. And we will pray that you will continue on this journey successfully. Just as the church prayed for Paul and Barnabas and for their success, today the church is going to pray for you. I'll give you one authority today, though. <laughs> After all it's done, you can call me shipwreck. <laughs> I'll give you that permission today. <laughs> so with, with this short introduction, I want the congregation and all of us be affirmed in our commitment to Jesus. And especially we celebrate with you today, with your parents, with your family, that your journey with Jesus, that your pastoral ministry will be successful, is my prayer for you. Hello, Letitia. This is your friend and colleague in ministry, David Stojic. I wish I could be with you today to celebrate with you, but unfortunately, due to prior commitments, long-standing commitments, I could not be there. But I would like to share a few words. First of all, let me just say how proud I am of you. Uh, just thinking about a few years ago when I first came to be pastor at Buluru Church, where you and your family were attending, uh, following your career in teaching, you were deciding to had to go for another exciting chapter of your life. And the chapter that I believe is going to last all the way to the coming of Jesus. You decide to go to Avondale to study and, and become a minister, full-time minister. And today, uh, Leticia, a few years down the road, you are celebrating uh, the time, uh, the celebrating the affirmation um, uh, of your church and a church affirming your commitment uh, to full-time ministry and commissioning you to full-time ministry. Uh, what, a, what an exciting time uh, to be in ministry for men and for women. And I just would like to say that some years ago, that one of the pioneers, a major leader in our church, Ellen White, uh, wrote in the book of evangelism, when a great and decisive work is to be done, God chooses men and women to do his, this work. And it will, be, it will feel the loss of the talents if both are not combined. Uh, so it is good to have both women and men combined in this great task of ministry. What an exciting time to be, to be um, commissioned and to lead God's church as we are coming close to the time uh, of Jesus' return. I just would like to, to dedicate one verse in the scripture to you. In, in Hebrews chapter uh, 11, um, there are heroes of fight, great cloud of witnesses, as Paul refers to them in chapter 12. People who have faced tremendous challenges and remained faithful to God in spite of all of, the, all of these things. In verse 2, I believe, is the secret for us to remain faithful in spite of all challenges. Uh, and that is to fix our eyes on Jesus, who is the author and finisher of our fight. So, Leticia, as you embark on your um, ministry as a commissioned minister, I would like to dedicate this verse to you. 
A man will let you down. People will disappoint you. But if you fix your eyes on Jesus, you'll be full of courage and strength. And you will remain faithful and loyal, no matter what the challenge is and what challenge comes to you and your way. So today, together with your family and with your church family, I would like to extend you best wishes and many, many blessings uh, as a commission minister in God's church. May your ministry be rewarding and may it be a blessing to your churches that will be under your leadership. God bless and best wishes. Hello, Leticia. This is your friend and colleague in ministry, David Stojic. I wish I could. Hi, Leticia. I'm really happy to hear about your commissioning and congratulations to you for your day. I just want to share with you from my time of being your mentor and your supervisor over here in WA. And I want to affirm to you the gifts and the talents I've seen God bless you with. I want to encourage and affirm you in the fact that you are diligent in getting to know your community. You go door to door knocking, you do all this stuff. It's just amazing. You are good at your evangelism too. And you have a heart to lead people into a saving relationship with Jesus Christ. You also have vision when it comes to the gospel and sharing it with those around you where you serve. You see things that others don't. So I admire that about you. You also go the extra mile in making sure people feel welcomed into the kingdom. You build community well. You see things that others don't. And, the, and finally, the fact that you are being accepted officially into full-time ministry is just another sign that your peers and your senior supervisors see the same thing. And the churches that you have served, Cable and Osborne Park, have fond memories of your service among them. And you left these communities in good condition for others to follow. So well done and God bless you, Leticia, in your commissioning today. I know you are definitely called to ministry. God bless. Hi, Leticia. I'm really happy. Hi, I'm Andrew Skeggs from the Western Australian Conference, and I'm really pleased to be celebrating the commissioning of Letitia. I worked with Letitia here in Western Australia, both as a coach when she was at the Capel Church and then as fellow pastors at the Clarkson Church. And I found her to be a committed, sensitive and inspiring pastor. She really loves her church members. She focuses her church on making a difference in the community, and she leads thoughtful and helpful change and renewal. She's a thoughtful preacher of the word, a great shepherd and a leader of God's people. I consider her a great friend and a great pastor. Congratulations, Leticia. I'm so glad you're going to be Pastor Moreno. Congratulations. Hi, I'm in. Hey, Leticia, Leticia Moreno, como estas? <laughs> oh, you're my friend. It's uh, good to join you as part of this a special celebration. And yeah, I wish I could be there in person, but uh, such are the circumstances. 
in which we live. But I just want to join you remotely in celebrating uh, today and this journey and this amazing God that we serve. Yes, so today is a special day. What a day. It will always live in your memory. This is one that you will cherish, one that will be always significant for you and for your loved ones and for those, those many lives that you touched. And uh, today is a day of thanksgiving, a day of joy. Amen. Uh, you know, I wish I could be uh, somewhere where I could just press a golden buzzer and just let the confetti just rain down on you like they do on the X Factor shows and so on. But yeah, I, I'm just sharing your joy today. And uh, yeah, it's been a journey for you uh, the last several years. You've had your ups and downs. You've had your pleasant experiences and your rough ones. You've had your hard knocks and you've had your, your really good days. And, um, but the journey continues, the journey continues. Um, you've uh, given proof of your ministry and you've shown your commitment to the calling uh, by the one who called you to service. You've endured a hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. And I wanna say, good on you, but the journey continues. And you know what's good? The one who called you on this journey, the one who started you out, he is right there with you and he's well able to take it all the way until he puts the victor's crown on your head. And so I want to see this as not an end point, but a milestone, something that marks a section of the journey. And um, I just want to recommend to you uh, that you keep the faith and that you, you take Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 as your watchword, your philosophy, your approach in life, trust in the Lord in all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge him, and he's going to make your paths straight. Guaranteed, his word never fails. Uh, so, yeah, as I celebrate with you, as I, I just, you know, just praise God for what he's done in your life and what he's going to continue to do, I just want to wish you all the very best, my friend. Take care, and God bless you abundantly. Hey. Leticia, I'm just dropping by to wish you all the very best uh, for your commissioning. I have no idea the journey that uh, you've had to endure uh, up to this point, but I can see God working um, wonderfully in your life. Uh, I love your smile. I love your persistence. And I love your uh, adoration for your God. So all the very best uh, for your ministry journey. And I'm looking forward to seeing how God blesses you in the future. Letitia, it's an honour to have worked alongside of you and have had the opportunity to get to know you during your time here in WA. Your passion and enthusiasm to see the community as part of the church has been inspiring, has changed the culture of churches. Personally, I've always appreciated your friendship, your thoughtfulness, and the way you would help to bring joy into a room. May God continue to bless you and your future endeavours as you continue to serve him in the unique way that you've been created. Congratulations. We miss you, Letitia. Congratulations on your commissioning. Congratulations, Letitia. Well done. God bless you and uh, yeah, and Kaiji. Blessings. Congratulations. Letitia, you're a fantastic pastor. Your heart felt, you love people, you love the gospel. So glad you're getting commissioned. Letitia, Letitia, Letitia. You've left your mark, girl. Congratulations. Hey, Letitia, congratulations. Really, really proud of you. Hey, Letitia, well done. Congratulations. And guess what? West is still best. <laughs> Letitia, congratulations. I remember your beautiful smile and very big heart for passion uh, for, uh, for ministry, so thank you. God be with you, Letitia. I remember in 2017, when you were serving at Osborne Park, you helped the Sudanese new church plant secure the place of worship in the afternoon. God be with you in the ministry. Hello, Letitia. This is a dream come true. May God take care of you forever. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Letitia. Uh, my being, my being. That's really excellent. All the best. God's blessings. <laughs> <laughs>